inventory management allows a firm to maintain sufficient inventory level while avoiding to hold an undesirable or too much inventory level in the stock investments tied up in inventories does not produce cash until the inventory is sold or it is disposed of in some other way large manufacturing concerns having substantial amount invested in inventories are now increasingly looking for much new updated and cost efficient techniques to minimize their inventory holding and carrying costs what a primary goal can be to hold an amount in the inventory uh, it its purpose is to maintain in inventory level so that the buying and selling can take place without concentrating unnecessary amount of money in the inventory there are two types of motives while maintaining an inventory level the first is the transaction motive where the inventory is needed in order to uh, meet the routine production and sales business cycle the second motive is the precautionary motive where the inventory is desired to avoid any stock out losses as we know that the amount of investment in inventories may go up to a certain substantial level so there are certain implications of this investment in the inventories there may be a chance that the over investment in inventories can sequester liquidity position of the firm on contrary under investment in inventories by the firm can result in loss of customers from long delays in delivery of goods if we talk about inventory management approaches the first we have economic order quantity or eoq it is a famous quantitative model that allows a firm to determine its inventory level at which the new inventory can be ordered uh, this eoq equates the firm's ordinary cost with the carrying cost of the inventory and interestingly at eoq level the total cost of the inventory goes on minimize level we have an other approach in terms of safety stock this is the level of extra stock that is maintained by the firm in order to mitigate riskiness of the stock out caused by um, some uh, uncertainties in the market the other approach we have is the just in time method or the jit method it is a system that aligns the new material orders from suppliers directly with the production schedule so it aligns the production schedules with the inventory orders here materials are ordered at a point at which current stock reaches at a reorder point or we can say that jit allows a firm to demand inventory when it is required certain types of inventory cost that a firm can uh, bear the first is the ordering cost it is the procurement or replenish, uh, replenishment cost and this ordering cost can be in terms of uh, fixed cost and the variable cost as well the example may include freight handling and machine setup cost carrying cost refers to the financing and holding cost and these costs are basically subject to the average inventory level or the average amount invested in the inventory across a certain time period the example includes storage interest and ins insurance cost then we have stock out cost that is the opportunity or real cost affected by the inventory level and the processing time versus the terms of sales the types of uh, the example of stock out cost include lost sales and back order cost then we have uh, the policy costs uh, which in means data gathering and general operating cost 
दैट कॉस्ट मे बी रियल कॉस्ट और द सॉफ्ट कॉस्ट द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पॉलिसी कॉस्ट इंक्लूड डेटा प्रोसेसिंग एंड लेबर कॉस्ट एटसेट्रा टू evaluate inventory management practices we have two measures the first measure is the inventory turnover and the second is the inventory turnover in days inventory turnover is a rough measure but it is simple to compute and it can be uh, easily compared with the other standards of inventory management this ratio may vary among industries even it may vary uh among companies within a same industry due to the product mix offered by a competing firm in a similar industry the interpretation of these two ratios can be uh different so we have various versions of these interpretations because of uh the reason there a decrease in inventory turnover mean the first more inventory is on hand and it is not moving through sales or there is a change in the firm's product mix or the firm is reducing its risk of stock out so due to these reasons we may have different versions of interpretations of the two inventory measuring ratios